welcome to the Global Symposium for Regulators 2019 here in Port Vila, Vanuatu. We're very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Ivan Brown, who is the Chairman of the Board of Commissioners for the Liberian Telecommunication Authority. Ivan, welcome to the studio. Thank you so much, and I'm happy to be here. I'd like to start off by talking to you a little bit about uh, the theme for this year's Global Symposium for Regulators, Inclusive Connectivity, the Future of Regulation. Uh, what in your opinion, can we, how can we achieve inclusive connectivity? First of all, let me say thanks to the uh, ITU and the host country, Vanuatu, for the warm reception that we've gotten so far. It's very hospitable. Uh, and on your, on your question, we all, as a global community, have come to realize similar experiences and what we do from our end in Liberia is yet to uh, come to fruition but it's a working process. We uh, have identified areas to be inclusive in a world community in terms of our universal access program and uh, through our licensing regime and uh, the acquisition of a national backbone. Those are the three most important areas we've come to identify for inclusiveness. Also, uh, <clears throat> regionally, we've been working with our close neighbors, that's Sierra Leone, Guinea, Cote d'Ivoire, and Liberia, through the Manor River Union arrangement to uh, collaborate in uh, finding some harmonization on how we can we can better off our various communities. In terms of uh, your own country, what particular challenges are you facing? Uh, challenges are enormous. Actually, the first is the, uh, the concept of affordability. Uh, we think that if we have a national backbone in our country, we'll be able to reach to the uh, remote and uh, unserved areas, but uh, at the moment we don't, and so it makes connectivity a little difficult for us. We have the opportunity in 2011 to, to have the uh, ACE project coming to the country. That uh, deployment, after that deployment was done, it's only serving the metro area, strictly the capital, and so people in the rural areas and the unserved areas are not being affected. We have not done the divestiture in a way that we'll be able to get it. So I consider all of that as our challenges, and uh, we uh, are working towards that though. As I said, the uh, National Backbone Project would be the way to go to reach out to those unserved areas. And then the uh, another challenge is with the universal access. But again, we've got some light at the end of the tunnel. We were given some support by the World Bank, a minimum support that uh, were able that was able to make us start that program off the ground. And uh, currently we've got the, the fund and the program itself started where the uh, stakeholders, mainly the operators and some service providers are uh, chunking into that fund as a uh, half percent of the, the uh, uh, annual revenue to that fund so that we can be able to accomplish some of these uh, connectivity issues that we've had. Finally, you've taken the time to be here. I know you made a concerted effort. I think you, you were three days in terms of your, uh, your travel arrangements. I wanted to find out, has it been worth it? And uh, what do you hope to take away with you uh, going back to Liberia after this conference? The first and foremost is that uh, you come to these uh, conferences, you network, you meet people that you haven't met before. And uh, some of the problems that you've had, you surely get to know that others have had it 
uh, if not solve it 100%, at least to some extent. And so I'm going back to Liberia with a lot of solutions in my hand, knowing who to contact in terms of what. On the spectrum side, on the connectivity side, I've spoken with a lot of people, and uh, I think it's worth my while coming. And uh, we look forward to these kind of conferences organized by the ITU. Well, thank you very much for joining us here at GSR and, of course, here in the studio. And uh, I wish you the very best, and hopefully we'll catch up with you again at, at uh, another Global Symposium for Regulators.